Hey guys, Martha Mentor here back with another video. In this video, I'm going to profile two companies that do final mile delivery. I'm actually going to do something a little bit different in this video. I'm going to give you guys a two for one. So we're going to be looking at two logistics companies that do final mile delivery. Uh, we'll be profiling these two companies and I'll prove to you that they're paying this much money a year, which isn't very shocking if you in final mile or if you've done final mile before, you should know 200000 for for running one route really is nothing. You can actually make more than that depending on the market you're in. But we're going to take a look at these two companies. Um, but before we do that, I want to do a disclaimer real quick because I've been getting a lot of um, mentorship coaching sessions and a lot of DMs and uh, just comment messages or whatever. Uh, whatever platform people find me on um, these contracts when I be profiling these companies for like Lowe's and Home Depot and Best Buy and, and, and these contracts this is for final mile not middle mile all right um, I know there's a lot of new people in the space and they may not understand the lingo um, but you got to get familiar with this stuff you know this is you know, this is this is this is how you can get caught up because remember you're working on a very small margin, so you need to know the lingo. You need to know the difference between the lanes. Now, I did a video and I'm I'm gonna post it somewhere up in here somewhere um, about middle mile and final mile, explaining the difference between the two, so you can go back and look at that when you get a chance. All right. So when you ask me, well, man, I don't want to do uh, the low board. I want to work on one of those contracts that you be talking about the lows and stuff like that. And here's the issue. If it's just you and your truck, then you can't do this type of work. This is final mile work. It's going to require two to three people on a truck, and it's going to require lifting. All right? If you're not willing to lift, and I'm not talking about light stuff. I'm talking about some heavy stuff. You know, refrigerators, washers and dryers, stoves, uh, furniture, couches, armoires. You never know what people are going to order. You don't know what's. Uh, you're going to have to load onto your truck that day. You don't know when you get to the destination where it's going in the home or the apartment. It may go up three, four flights of stairs. You may have to do a delivery of patio furniture. Um, they have patios on roofs now. They have rooftop bars and rooftop people build, design homes, and they'll have a sky deck on the roof of their home. So you may have to go four or five flights up with this stuff. All right? So this is... These when I profile these logistics companies, I say final mile. That's that's what this is. This is not doc to doc. You can't get these contracts middle mile. You know, these big companies don't give box truck owner operators with one truck, two truck, three trucks contracts like this. All right. Why? Because they deal with the big boys. They deal with the Schneiders. They deal with the J.B. Hunts. They deal with the 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 the, the, the primes and the Swifts and the Werners. And all those big companies, why? Because they have the resources. You can't get a contract with you and your box truck for Walmart or for Costco. Why? Because if you ever go to a Walmart DC, and DC means distribution center, you see trucks coming in and out. You see a hundred lanes, a hundred dock doors. I right? hate you see a bunch of trucks that say JB Hunt or a bunch of trucks that say Schneider. Why? It's because they got, this is a 24-hour operation. They got trucks pulling in and pulling out, dropping stuff off, picking stuff up. A, a, a owner-operator with one box truck can't get that type of contract. They have to go with the big boys, all right? So middle mile is pretty much spot market work, all right? So if it's just you and your box truck, then nine times out of ten, you're either running Amazon Relay or you're running the load boards, all right? So don't, don't get confused. Don't think, okay, I'm just going to. I saw Mark's video. I'm going to go get a contract with Lowe's. No, you can get that contract with a logistics company like one of these companies that have that contract. Why? Because they're sending trucks day in and day out to these companies, DCs, which is distribution centers. They're pulling that freight back to their warehouse. All right. And then they'll have a, a, a contractor come to their logistics company facility to pick that freight up to go final mile with it. Now, you can get those contracts from a final mile company because you're running dedicated. I'm running a dedicated contract with um, XPO or JB Hunt delivering for lows five, six, seven days a week. I know I'm delivering for lows. 
I don't know what I'm delivering from day to day, but I know whatever my contract is, whether it's five, six, or seven days, I know every day is going to be low. So I know I'm dealing with appliances, right? So hopefully I didn't make that more confusing for you, but hopefully you guys understand that. So if you got you and your box truck, these contracts that I'll be saying 200,000, 300,000, 5,000 a week, these are final mile contracts this is for people who's two or more on a truck two or three guys on a truck that's lifting heavy furniture heavy appliances going in homes out of homes on to the next this is a whole different ball game all right so with that we're going to get into the profile of these companies okay so the first company that we're going to look at is going to be cardinal logistics um, this is a full service trucking company so they operate in all lanes so you're going to go look for the final mile lane. So you're going to go up to driving opportunities. We'll click that. And then you're going to scroll down to independent contractors. Right here is going to give you a scope. And notice right here it says earn two hundred to $250,000 annually based on location. All right. So depending on your market. Would determine how much money you're going to make so um quarter million dollars guys is is for for one route uh and final mile is about the norm all right so it's definitely obtainable uh final mile you're doing a lot more than just driving you're driving you're lifting you're carrying you're installing so that's why it pays so good all right so then you're going to hit share your info to learn more you're going to fill out this generic form. It's going to ask you some questions. Do you have furniture and appliance delivery experience? Do you own your truck? Your location? Hit submit. All right. Then I want to go look over here. Um, and this is going to give you some more locations that they're hiring in. South Carolina, Birmingham, Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama Denver, Colorado. If you look at uh, Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, just gives you more of a scope um, what they're looking for um, uh, gives you the rate again this is a six day a week contract all right um, let's see Birmingham Alabama notice the rate is a little bit lower there um, Birmingham it's a five day a week contract and Denver Colorado it's a seven day a week contract. So basically depending on the market you live in would determine um, you know how many days the contract is. But take a look at Birmingham. You got uh, the contact number for the recruiter, which is John at 860-307-2898. I think I saw his name again. Uh, yeah, for South Carolina. So you guys want to give John a call. He's the recruiter. Once you fill out that form on their website so he can pull that requisition and um, start the process and get you guys on board. All right. So let's take a look at the second company we want to profile, which is going to be SIVA Logistics. All right. They're contracting for box truck owner operators now for final mile as well. All right. So you're going to go to their website and then you're just going to fill out their inquiry form. They got a scope of what they're looking for. They got an escrow for maintenance over uh, over there at SIVA. They're running that program, that maintenance program. Just going to basically hit start now, and it's just going to give you another generic form to fill out for them to get back to you. You hit the submit button, they'll get back to you. Want to go over here and look at the scope here over on Indeed or some of the markets that they're hiring in. A lot of Massachusetts. A lot of Massachusetts, so kind of want to hit hit them up and see uh, what markets there. And when you fill out that form on their website, more of a little scope for SIVA. I noticed that SIVA, they're offering a $1,500 sign-on bonus. Uh, for those of you guys that tuned into the um, the Mentors podcast last week, my weekly podcast that I do every Tuesday night at 7.30, I talked about how I think... Um, box truck uh logistics companies are eventually going to start offering sign on bonuses like um how the semi truck side uh gets and the reason why is you got some companies that are offering 
the trucks now. Um, it's 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 a tough industry right now as far as onboarding new applicants. There's a shortage on trucks, so these logistics companies got to do whatever they got to do to attract new applicants. All right, like I always say, they have these 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 uh, um these big contracts with these big retailers, and they have to fulfill their agreement to the contract. So they got to do whatever they got to do um, to get the freight off these docks and get it to the consumers. Um, the logistics companies are having a hard time right now keeping up with the demand of e-commerce. So they got to do what they got to do. So um, they're offering a $1,500 signing bonus. Um, it's giving you more scope. And this company does have uh, an escrow of $75 a week to help cover uh, maintenance on the truck. All right, so there's two more companies uh, to add my, to my list of uh, companies that I profile for final mile logistics for you guys to sign your box trucks up with. Uh, you got Cardinal Logistics and Siva Logistics. So uh, head over to those websites, fill out those forms, and give the recruiting guy a call from Cardinal and uh, uh, just kind of wait for the Siva to get back to you. If that's something that you're looking to do in your market. And just to reiterate what I said earlier, make sure you guys know the difference between the two lanes, middle mile and final mile. Middle mile is um, just you and your truck pretty much doing dock to dock. All right. It's dock to dock work. All right. Or you're doing Amazon Relay, which is still dock to dock. All right. So these contracts, when I profile them with these big companies, these are for final mile. So final mile is going that final mile in that supply chain logistics process where the stuff comes from a warehouse to the, the customer. It comes to the customer's doorstep, whether it's curbside, threshold, or white glove. All right. And most of the time, in most cases, it's going to be full service white glove, especially if you're dealing with appliances. Um, it, it's going to require that bringing it in, setting it up, hooking it up. Most furniture is going to be the same thing. No one's going to order, let's say, an armoire and have you drop it at the curb. You know, some of these armoires are a couple hundred pounds, three, four, five, six hundred pounds. I remember early in my career, I had a guy that had a Ralph Lauren armoire. It took four of us to move this thing. All right. It took four of us to move. And this was early in my career. The thing was like 20, 30 grand he paid for it. So um, it took four of us, and it was in a house on the main level. We didn't even have to deal with no stairs, and it took four of us. You know, so that's final mile. So learn the difference between the two. I got videos that will help you out. Um, so just go through my catalog, www.boxtruckcourses.com, for your one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me, Martha Mentor. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the upcoming videos. And I'm out. Go mo, show mo, show bo, robo, wave ride. Cool shorty, too naughty, pool party, wet for the face ride. Any up, penny down, hand me down, thrift store, old drip. New money, too funny, old shorty, talk about old shit.